everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com. We're at CES 2012 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am joined by Jeff Gadway of Research in Motion. Kevin. Happy New Year, Jeff. Happy New Year to you too. And you're going to show us Playbook OS 2.0 today. Yeah. So let's take a look. Let's just get to it and go through this in uh, in detail for all our Crackberry fans out there and Blackberry fans out there. Absolutely. I mean, we're really excited about OS 2.0. I mean, it takes the great web browsing and e-reading and gaming and you know multimedia that you've had since day one on Playbook um, to a whole new level. It allows you to use the Playbook in a bunch of new ways. And we focused in kind of three key areas with OS 2.0. The first is communications. The second is productivity. And the third is extending that powerful, powerful performance that we introduced with Playbook um, last year. Um, so let me just dive right in. Sure. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that you've got this app dock right now, right? So this allows you to um, take your most used icons or your most used applications and park them on a dock. So I've got you know built-in calendar, email, contacts, the browser, of course, because I use it all the time, and I've got the BlackBerry Bridge folder in there too. Right on. Um, so that's a little bit of a, uh, of a change, not just cosmetically, but allowing you to get to those applications that you use most frequently a lot faster. Um, so let me just pull up the built-in messages application. So this is completely independent of any connection to my BlackBerry. This is native email, built-in messages, whatever you want to call it. And what we've done with this application is made it a unified messaging um, application or unified messaging uh, platform. So in this one application, you've got all of your personal and professional email, as well as all of your social networking sites. So I've got my Twitter and my LinkedIn configured here, but we're working with a number of the popular social networking platforms to give users one single destination for all of their messaging. Okay, so to add these accounts, we go through the settings screen? You go right through the settings screen, right up here. Um, I can go into accounts. And uh, then yeah. you're able to choose, um, you know, here we've got um, my RIM email. So that's through BlackBerry Mobile Fusion. And People, Bez. don't email Jeff. Please don't email him. <laughs> um, you've got uh, my Gmail, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so as soon Perfect. as I enter that information into the account screen, my email inbox is populated with all of the messages from those accounts. So if I toggle over here, here are where all my different accounts are listed, and then the number in parentheses at the end of the description corresponds to the number of unread messages in that tab. Very slick. Now we're over Wi-Fi right now. That's right. So it's pulling in periodically, or how does it get all yeah, the messages? Yeah, it's constantly syncing two-way um, back with the respective servers. Um, so if I delete something here, on, uh, on the playbook, it gets deleted back on my RIM email or on my Gmail. Um, if uh, I receive a new email on one of my devices and I check it somewhere, it's going to appear as checked in all places. Perfect. All right. The other cool thing that we've done with this unified inbox is giving you the ability to compose messages directly from the inbox. So if I wanted to send a direct message um, for Twitter, I could do it right from here. So if I wanted to... Um, Crackberry K, right go. on. <laughs> I could do that right from here. So I don't need to um, go into the Twitter application to send a message. Same thing with LinkedIn, right? right on. Um, the last thing I'll show you when it comes to the messages application is the composing features. Um, so I'm actually able to have multiple compose windows open simultaneously. So the way that I use this is say I'm oh. typing a long email, right? and I want to go back and I want to reference something in the inbox, I can do that. Um, as I'm typing that long email, say I get, um, I get a really quick email that needs just a quick response from someone like Cluely, right? Um, I can open up another Compose window and quickly bang that note off um, without losing my place in my longer email. Right so on. we're taking that multitasking that we've had in Playbook since day one and extend, extending it to the, to the email experience. Um, and nobody else is doing that on a tablet today. No, that's that's hot. I like that. That's really cool. Um, finally, finally, we've got uh, rich text email uh, editing and, and formatting here. So um, if I start typing, and you'll also get a glimpse at the new virtual keyboard, which is awesome. It's predictive, uh, predictive and contextual. Um, so hello, everyone coming to the, um, I don't have a word here, to the show, right? Um, and then if I hit double space, 
it puts a period, space, and capital. Uh, so I guess the point is we're extending some of those really cool BlackBerry shortcuts to the new virtual right keyboard. Right on, yeah. It's looking as well good. as that predictive text. But the, the thing that I wanted to bring you in here to show you was the rich text um, email that, we, that we've incorporated in uh, the built-in messages application. So you've got um, full support for, fo uh, for fonts, for colors, um, for formatting as well. So you've got um, a really robust um, desktop or PC email experience right here on the tablet, right? Um, I use this all the time for my for my RIM email now. Like I, I, I don't even pull up my laptop because I've got everything I need right here on the playbook. Beautiful. So that's, uh, that's the Messages app in a nutshell. Um, the next thing I'll show you is the Contacts application. Um, again, because we've already populated um, my, uh, in this case, LinkedIn and Twitter um, accounts in here, uh, it, it pulls those in automatically. But the cool part about this application is that Excuse me. It um, it knows. Um, I'm gonna pick on my buddy Greg here for a second. It knows that I've got Greg from three different sources, right? So uh, it's pulling his information from a variety of different sources right into uh, right into the contacts app and giving me a complete profile of Greg um, without duplicating him multiple times in my contact list. And I didn't have to do anything to set this up. Um, if I touch here on status updates, uh, it looks like he doesn't have anything new, but that would give me his latest um, LinkedIn um, or Twitter uh, statuses. If I touch here, um, it shows me news about his employer, right? If right. I touch here, it shows me um, you know, past and upcoming meetings that I have with Greg, which is pretty cool. Um, and then places, uh, or sorry, people that we share in common. So LinkedIn connections that we have in common as well. Cool. Right. So it's really, it's more than just a contact list now. That's it's, right. It's a really true robust. social hub about the sure. people that I'm interacting with. And um, this leads really nicely into the calendar application because we've taken that notion of social integration one step further with the calendar, right? This isn't a calendar just built around events. It's built around people and the relationships that you share with the people that you're meeting with on a daily basis. So you, yeah, you do have all of your basic calendar functionality, right? Um, so, um, you know, here's a bunch of stuff uh, about, um, you know, meetings that I've got here set up at CES, right? Um, and so I've got, you know, an agenda view, a day view, but I've also got a people view. So if I toggle this, I can see all the people that I'm going to be meeting with over the course of a day. Hmm. And I can go in and get all that same, um, oops. Social data right there. That same social data. Uh, it's not pulling up Alex's contact, but you'd get that same view that you got from uh, looking at Greg's profile right here in the calendar. So what that allows you to do is get uh, information about the people you're going to be meeting with over the course of a day so you can better prepare for stalking. more effective meetings. Better stalking. It's good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So that's uh, email, contacts, and calendar. Um, three of the big uh, new features of Playbook OS 2.0. Cool. Thank you. That's a great walkthrough of native email PIM on the Black BlackBerry Playbook.